and then you stop, you kind of look at it, and you go, okay, that looks pretty, pretty beat up, but it could be beat up even more, okay? So what we're going to do is flash it again. It'll kind of lock the aging in place. Okay, now for the fun part you've all been waiting for. How are we going to make it, give it the illusion of real steel? All right, we saw this before. This is the rub and buff, okay? This is a wax um, that will go on the surface, which gives it a, a sheen. But um, some of the stuff we want the chips to be a little bit more permanent. So what we want to do with that is uh, we take a little block. Something like this would probably work okay. And I'm not going to use uh, bright silver because it's just going to be too loud. So we're going to use this dull aluminum spray to get the similar effect. <laughs> well, first you want to kind of gauge where where your uh, where your wear areas would be. So along here, uh, probably around the trigger housing here, maybe down and through here, uh, up in here. Maybe this is kind of beat up a little bit inside here. So what we want to do is just you get a you get a a little pool of just a wet paint. You just spray it on a board or something, and then you take uh, uh, you can take a stick and you just kind of dab it, dab the stick in the paint, and then you just kind of even the metal up here, you know, would get kind of beat up. along these edges maybe here too on your leading edges you can use a brush too if you want to Just gently highlighting. You don't want to put a lot on. Just enough so it goes like, oh, that looks like a chip, you know. Now, if you feel like you overdid it, don't worry about it because you can go back and uh, and uh, and grunge it down a little bit more. All right, another way to do the similar effect, but in more of a subtle way, is to use the rub and buff, which uh, if you put it on heavy, it won't dry. It's wax. So what you want to do is you want to kind of get some on a rag, just a little bit, very little, and rub it out so that it disperses evenly over the, uh, over the piece, over the uh, rag. You don't want any chunks in it. See already it's doing it to my thumb. And then just kind of lightly hit. It's great for rubbing over stuff because it brings out the surface details like that. It's also good to give uh other materials like a metallic -y kind of a finish. It's got metallic powder in it. You rub it on and you buff it out. That's why it's called rub and buff. Anything you want to kind of highlight, you can, uh, you can go over with this. Then you want to bring out maybe a little bit of detail, more detail in, say, like the handle. Even though it's silver, it's just it's more like a highlighter.
I, I still I want to neutralize it a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is go in and black out the handle a little bit. And then I want to dust the whole thing down with a little bit of dark. The only thing I don't want to get too dark is obviously the uh, the barrel. a little better. Okay, so we knocked it down, kind of neutralized it, equalized it, grunged it out, and distressed it. Put some more distress on this side. Um, everything works, and she's ready for your next low-budget movie. There you go. There's something cool that you can put next to your uh, computer while you're doing your digital graphics. Pretty much a lot of these techniques, techniques you can use on just about anything that you do. Um, any type of prop. Uh, if we do some more of these, we'll do some other different types of props, not just guns. So uh, have fun, enjoy your materials, get your fingers dirty, and make something cool, make something real. Um, and uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy the wonderful world of materials, because it's crazy!